Ladies and gentlemen, somebody line is either Ryan Garcia or, or Floyd Mayweather. First of all, we all saw the video of Bill Haney and Floyd Mayweather going at it. Well, check this out. Ryan Garcia says... Floyd told me to come in over three pounds. He told me, fuck Bill Haney. Whatever. Ryan also said that Floyd Mayweather sent him the tape, sent him the video of the Devin Haney and Javante Davis sparring. Right? So it seems to me Floyd... Oh, yeah, and also, Ryan Garcia said Floyd was mad at him because he told the world that Floyd sent him that video. See, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia wasn't supposed to tell people that. He was supposed to keep that on the low. If Ryan, now, who do I believe? Do I believe? And then Floyd denied on Fight Hype that he sent that video to Ryan you know so who do I believe I think I'm going to go with Flo I, th man, I think I'm going to go with Ryan I believe Ryan I believe Ryan because Floyd because Ryan just came out and said Floyd told me to come in. Now, I don't think Ryan... I'm not, now, this is after the fight. Why would Ryan lie on Floyd? What reason do he have to lie on Floyd? The fight over with. You won. Now, Floyd has a reason to be mad at Bill because Bill been... been sneak... Been, not sneak dissing, but Bill been kind of dissing Floyd. You know, so you know, and we know how Floyd is. Floyd is egomania. So this is, and I believe Floyd, and Floyd is vengeful like that. This is Floyd's way of getting back at Bill Haney. So I believe Ron Garcia. So why would Floyd pretend like he's so innocent and call Bill? on a live and act like he didn't tell Ryan Garcia and act like he wasn't team Ryan act like he didn't he wasn't helping Ryan with the psychological games against Devin Haney and Bill Haney and I personally don't think Floyd had anything against uh, Devin Haney I think this was all about Bill Haney he hated Bill Bill is hated by a lot of people. <laughs> so I think this was all a ploy to get back at Bill to advise Ryan on a low. You know. And then see, now this is how Floyd is a real snake. He gets he gets on a lie with Bill and act like Bill, what happened? Well we went wrong. Last time I did, I see you in Miami before. We kicked it. You said what's up. I said what's up. We kicked it. We had a good time. Now all of a sudden it seemed like Bill Haney is my enemy. Like I ain't got nothing against Bill. You ain't got nothing against Bill Floyd. Come on, Floyd. Come on now. I love the way Bill went at Floyd on this with no respect whatsoever. Because Floyd been getting too much respect from these interviewers, from these reporters. They've been kissing up to him. Floyd been talking crazy to these reporters, talking about, you know, all in uh, all in the videos on Carmel Moten uh, post fight, talking about himself, talking about he the greatest. Man, it ain't your time to shine. Let the let the young young line shine, Floyd. That's that ego mania from him. So. This is Floyd trying to play mind games, being a snake, trying to act like he's totally innocent. 
That's why he was mad at Ryan because Ryan spilled the beans on him and said, Floyd told me. Floyd sent me the video. Floyd did this. Floyd did that. <laughs> and Floyd, Floyd mad at me for telling y'all that. <laughs> Ryan said, Floyd mad at me. <laughs> Floyd called Ryan. What you doing? You ain't supposed to say that. You ain't supposed to say Yeah, yeah. Floyd, we know you're a snake. Bill know you're a snake. Bill got on his ass. I'm glad Bill got on his ass. Showed him no respect. And you know, Floyd wouldn't have called Bill if, if Devin won that fight. We know Floyd wouldn't have called Bill if Devin won. But since Devin lost, now he shows his face. Now he comes around. Now he's doing interviews on Fight Height. Talking about the fight. Talking about where Devin Haney needs a real trainer. <laughs> Just another diss to Bill. And I agree with Floyd on that. You know, Devin Haney does need a real trainer. He could have used some real trainer advice. Somebody that had been in the ring. Because remember, when uh, Sean, when, uh, what's his name? When Sugar Shane Mosley stunned Floyd. Floyd went back in the corner, corner, and Roger Mayweather said, "You ain't gotta fight with that motherfucker. Box him. You win him. You beat him easy when you box him. Don't go to toe toe with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You beat him, box him. And then he go Leonard Ellerby. Box him. That's what we do. <laughs> box him. That's what we do. Right. But Flo Devin Haney didn't have that in his corner." That's what Devin Haney needed that night. You know, some good advice. Yeah, Bill Haney, you know, didn't know what the hell he was doing that night. Uh, didn't have good advice for Devin that night. Devin was on a mission to please his dad. And uh, failed miserably. Dad, Daddy got almost got Devin killed. You know, it's ironic that uh, Bill Haney was talking about we going to kill him and almost got his son killed. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that was very bogus of Bill Haney. You know, Bill Haney with all the antics and all that stupid shit. And it wasn't that serious. to, But I know why Bill Haney did it. Because they trying to make Devin Haney a draw. They trying to make Devin Haney popular. Bill Haney felt felt they needed to win the crowd over. Felt they needed a KO to win the crowd over. To make Devin more popular. To take a risk. I understand why Bill Haney did it. You know what I'm saying? To boost Devin Haney's career even more. You know what I'm saying? Look, look what we did against Tank. We knocked, so they can have bragging rights. Uh, we knocked, we, we knocked Devin out. Tank didn't do that, you know what I'm saying. We, we, I mean, we knocked Ryan out. Then they can say, we beat Ryan better than, than Tank beat Ryan. We, we beat Ryan at his best. You know all that to compare Tank and Devin. So they can one day make the fight. You know, I, I understand what uh, Bill was doing, was trying to do. But uh, that was just the wrong game plan, man. Just the wrong game plan. Devin Haney came in there looking heavy as hell, sluggish. He wasn't sharp. He didn't look sharp. Devin Haney looked the heaviest I ever seen him look when he came in there. Devin Haney looked like he was probably about 170. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney looked heavy as hell. Both of them was both of them look heavy, but you know what I mean. But Devin Haney looked like he was about one seventy, man. Both of them looked like they was about one seventy. But uh, Floyd the trip, man. He thought the Floyd think he's slick, man. Floyd ain't nothing but a snake. <laughs> ain't nothing but a goddamn snake. And I told y'all, I got videos talking about Floyd kids, man. How Floyd's failed his children. They grown now. Ain't none of them. Ain't none of them kids in college. Floyd failed them, man. Ain't none of them boys, ain't none of them girls in college. They sh Yaya yeah, yeah, should have been in college. Floyd didn't set them up properly. They should all be business minded. They should all be having a business. 
They should all have accounts and living off interest. Man, them boys, they should be living off interest. All of them should have like a million each or three million each and be living off the interest of their millions and don't have to worry about money. I agree with Bill on that. Yeah, Florida, a scumbag. A scumbag dad for not setting his kids up properly. You know what I mean? Scumbag dad. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on with with them boys and with and with Yaya and with the, not a, the the youngest girl seemed like she all right. She's still living with that. She seemed like she all right. She still act like a kid. But I don't, everybody else, they 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 like they screwed up. You know, era, you know, y'all y'all making wrong decisions with you know choosing dudes. You, you know, y'all y'all was then wasn't ready, right? She chose an NBA young boy. Come on, man. Come on, man. So that's terrible. She chose NBA young boy. And you know, they say dad, they say girls choose men like they, that that remind them of their dad. Well, damn, Floyd must have been acting an ass for her to choose NBA young boy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I, I made a video about that, how Floyd felt his kids, man. Like, them boys should be set up. They shouldn't be... Looking dusty, they look dusty. They scammed a cat, they scammed the driver in Vegas about a year or two ago. I did a video on that. They didn't pay their driver, you know. So they they running around looking like a hot mess and then Bill Haney said they out there doing looking bad. Looking dusty. So yeah, man, I, I don't know if a flaw that's that's bad, Floyd. That's bad on you. Like I said. Them kids should have three million each, living off the interest. They ain't got to. They, they ain't really got to start no franchise. They ain't really got to start no business. They can have three million each in their account and living off the interest. I mean, that's what you box for. You box for your kids to have a better life. Why you didn't set your kids up for success, man? I agree with Bill on that, and I'm glad Bill talked to. Floyd with no respect whatsoever. Floyd needed that. Floyd needed to be checked. Because don't nobody check Floyd. You know, he do these interviews. People on Floyd hype, fight hype. Ben scared to check him. Ben ain't going to check him. He gonna, ben going to kiss his ass. Uh, and all these other interviewers going to kiss his ass. And the reporters going to kiss his ass. So don't nobody check Floyd. And Bill Haney. I salute Bill Haney for checking the fuck out of Floyd. I salute Bill for that, man. I really do. I be that's what I be doing on my videos. I be checking Floyd. Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck you doing, bro? You know what I'm talking about? I love Floyd as a boxer, as a professional boxer. He the best. I love watching him. He the best in the world. But I definitely don't respect you got all them millions in your and you ain't set your kids up for success, boy. Bruh, I definitely don't respect that whatsoever. So me and Bill on the same page with that. And uh Like I said, I sometimes Bill is annoying too, but Bill check Floyd. I, I love the fact how Bill check Floyd on this on on this on this talk. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it was awesome. And it was definitely. And Floyd thought he was slick. He always calling motherfuckers up. You know. Like he ain't got no business calling Bill. Floyd knew what he was doing. He wanted to gloat. In Bill's face. And talk. And, and he, he wanted to remind Bill. Y'all need me see. Y'all need me. You needed me. You needed me that night. That's what he wanted to remind. That's what he wanted to remind Bill of, really. Y'all needed me, Bill. See, that's why he lost. You don't know boxing. And to be honest, Floyd, right? Well, you know, they need. They need. I ain't gonna say they need. He. I ain't gonna say he was right that they need him. 
But they needed somebody that knew what the fuck they was doing when a boxer. They needed somebody. They needed another mind, a boxing mind in there that would give Devin some good advice. Some knowledgeable advice. They really did, they did need that. So Floyd right on that. Whether it whether it, you know it ain't got to be Floyd, but it got to be somebody that know what the fuck they doing. You know. But uh man, they, they, <laughs> this was for the ages right here. Great convo. Great argument. And uh I salute Floyd for calling him and getting balled out. <laughs> Uh -huh. But 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 why would Floyd want to help Devin Haney be a become a better fighter when uh Tank is is with TMT? That don't make no sense anyway. But that's Floyd though. He helped he helped Shakur Stevenson. He he helped Devin Haney. He helped Eric, but he helped people against his own fighters. He, that, that's weird. But anyway, that's it for me, man. I'm out of here. Peace.